In this video, we're going to talk you through some easy exercises that you can use to implement the ArtSmart quality principles into your journey. You could use all seven of the drama exercises, or you could pick and choose a couple, whichever is more relevant to your ArtSmart goal. In the description box below, you can also access our online games resource, which has an endless list of games that you might want to use as well. Let's get started. This is an exercise that promotes young people to think about spaces they already know in an innovative way. It requires young people to be someone they're already not and is a great way for the less confident to engage with other members of the class in a creative way. In this game, you're going to give a card to someone in the space that says, you've got the power. Now this is a great game for devising scenes or just creating work altogether. This person that has this card has to move up to a, a position of authority within the process. This might mean that in a group project they become the team leader. Or in a devising process they might devise different moments where they are getting higher up in authority. You could do anything you want with this exercise. It's just a really great activity to inspire the use of uh, status and positioning in devising processes. Authenticity is at the heart of everything that Icon Theatre and Theatre 31 do. Our entire practice is all about creating work that is authentic to the people we work with. To achieve this principle, we're going to talk you through the improvisation activity, The Last Goodbye. In The Last Goodbye, you are going to ask for two volunteers. Uh, they will come to the front of the space and everybody else will act as an audience. You will give them a situation which they will need to improvise in which they are doing an example of the last goodbye between two people. Now depending on the group you're working with, you might want to give them examples or you might want to ask for examples from the audience. Uh, particularly if you're working with more vulnerable young people, um, you don't want to use any examples that might be quite triggering. So think of situations that might be saying goodbye to a bus driver as you get off the bus or saying goodbye to the air stewardess as you get off a plane. Situations in which there is an end point uh, but might not be too triggering to the young people that you work with. Get them to improvise this scene when it comes to a natural end stop, um, but it's a really good activity for encouraging young people to not necessarily do improvisation activities that are there to make people laugh um, and are more reflective of real life situations are a bit more personal and maybe involve a bit more of an emotional background. The practice of giving young people scenario based role play is a great way of creating work that is authentic and youth led. Our next exercise is all about encouraging our young people to let go. So this exercise means that everybody in the room can get involved. It also allows them to be playful and pushes their creativity. So for the game 10 seconds to, you're going to want to get everyone in your group to just walk around the space. You are in charge. You're then going to call out a number. They need to get into groups of that many people. Obviously there might be a couple of spare, you can have bigger groups, it doesn't matter too much. You're then going to give them an object or a creature or a description and they have to create whatever you have said in 10 seconds. So you will start the countdown. This is encouraging them to work together as a team. Make sure that they're making one thing all together. So if you say you are going to be a soggy sock, make sure that they're not five set of soggy socks next to each other. You want them to work together and be creative and share ideas and become one big soggy sock, for example. You can push it and use descriptive words to exaggerate it even more. So you might be a sad window. Um, the possibilities are endless, but make sure that you can extend this, get everyone involved, make sure they're all working together. And then you're gonna go around, you're gonna look at each of these. An extension is that you can also bring these to life. You can make them, give it some physicality and some sound effects as well. It's a really good one for making them all get involved, push their creativity and be really fun and playful. In this activity, there are no winners and no losers. So this ensures that everyone feels included and has a great time throughout. Channel hopping is a great warm up activity and it means that everyone is included and doesn't feel like they're not going to be involved.
This game is called channel hopping and in this game everyone in the room, so everyone playing, gets given a channel. For example, they might be given the documentary channel or a soap opera or a different style of programme. Each of these people then have to improv a scene in that style, but they don't do it all at once. So the facilitator will point at one of the channels, maybe it's channel one, and then they will begin their scene. Everyone else has to say pause in their position. Then they might point, the facilitator might point at another channel, and channel four, for example. Channel one will stop, and then channel four will begin. Whilst they are paused, they've got to remember where they are in the programme, like you would if you paused a television show, for them to continue when they're chosen later on. Using play and imagination is the key to actively involving children and young people. You may have already heard of the concept teacher enrol, which is where a teacher is in character for the entire session, but this next activity, Passport, is the opportunity for children to be enrolled. So the next activity is called Passports. This is a great improvisation activity for when you want to transform your entire room and all the actors in it. What you're going to do is using the template that we've got in the description below, you can fill out a passport for all of the young people who you're in, in your room. Change their jobs, change their names, change their ages, whatever you want to do. When they first arrive in the space, you're gonna give them all a passport. And this is the person that they are going to become for the rest of the session. Every game they play, they're gonna play in character. When they perform back, they're gonna perform in those characters and it's a really good way of testing the space, getting young people to do something different and enrol and kind of excite uh, a whole room of people for a session. This is a brilliant exercise for supporting young people through a creative journey. By creating a structure in which the destination of the activity is already decided for the participants, you've created a foolproof way of allowing them to make a personal progression in the session with a sense of achievement. So for the game scene positions, you're going to want to come up with two positions for the scene. One that will go at the start of the scene and one that will go at the end. So for example, at the start you might have a stool and there's a glass of water on it. And then you will explain to your participants in the group that are going to perform that at the end of that scene, the water glass needs to be empty and the stool has been knocked over. At that point, you can get that group or that pair to improvise that scene so that they get from that first position with the scene finishing with the final position that you've given them. If you've got a slightly newer or more nervous group or some people that don't know each other, you might want to allow them some time to discuss the narrative that can happen between the A and the B, but because we already have that destination, it's just a way of them creating the narrative to show progression with their creativity. Offering young people improvised and devised opportunities, it gives them a the chance to have ownership over what they create. This ownership is integral for making these principles youth-led. In this game, as a group, we're going to go on to a journey. First of all, suggest the starting point. For example, I'm going to go to the shop. The whole group then starts walking to the shop. Someone else then suggests what happened next. For example, we're going to go through the river. So the group then goes through the river. Everybody keeps putting in suggestions until they get to their final destination. 